So we just arrived in Khums. This is a town uh, east of Tripoli. Basically come here with this whole pack. This is how it works. You get into this bus over here. They make an announcement in the hotel. You can barely hear it. Everyone goes running downstairs and then they tell you where you're going. There's absolutely no media freedom to wander around, to do what you normally would do, which is to find a local person to help you, to go to a market, to talk to people, to gauge what is going on. This is what it's like. It's basically the government trying to constrict, control, give their side of the story, and all these journalists try to get the real side of the story. No, right, right. So this was the ultimate aim of this junket by the government, to bring us here to Letus Magna, one of the most famous archaeological sites in the region, probably one of the best preserved Roman and Phoenician ruins in the Mediterranean. And the reason they brought us here is because rebels claimed that Muammar Gaddafi's government had hidden weapons and particularly rocket launchers amongst these ruins. Uh, so they brought us here to show that things are in fact normal, according to them, but they're no tourists, they're no people. These amazing ruins are essentially empty. Right now, there is no normal in Libya. Now, obviously, the point of this is for us to see that situation normal, right? That there's food in the shelves, that people are shopping, that people aren't afraid. I mean, that is kind of the message the government is trying to give us today by coming to the store. We're not going to market. We're not uh, going into people's homes necessarily. They just want us to come here, see life normal, but to keep it all scripted. So one thing you notice, even though... It seems like we're walking around completely freely. There's always someone with us, always a government minder following us. This guy's right behind us. He will kind of check on what's going on, listening into the conversations. And uh, basically, it's his job just to kind of keep tabs on us. So, you know, it's kind of a false freedom that we have to deal with here. But it's better than nothing, right?